I burped a little. But it's been a while since I did a Q&A, and it's really laid out, so I'm going to make it really, really short. Luckily, this one's really, really short in and of itself. Alright. And this person subscribed to me because they really want to see an answer. Hello, I'm currently a 15-year-old budding sociopath. Except for some reason, I have morals. Or, the way this person wrote it, morales. Interestingly enough, that's my other last name. Wow. Let me see the full comments. I become close to people, figure out their deep dark secrets and everything they hide, and then I find a perfect way to break them until they have to turn away from their sins. I feel no remorse for whom I hurt since I am really in the end helping them. But it's becoming less for that reason than it is for me. What do you think? What is your opinion? Well, I do think you are a sociopath. I do find that those behaviors are sociopathic. This isn't something that I doubt or question. You kind of do fit the archetype. But psychology isn't necessarily a hard science, so it's basically how I interpret that and put that into a narrative. And you've kind of put yourself in that narrative, too, when you talk about getting close to people, finding out their weaknesses, and then using it against them. Those are very sociopathic, very cluster B things to do. And the fact that it's becoming less and less moral and more and more self-interested is just proof of that cluster B thing. It's more like you want to do this more and more for yourself and your pleasures and eventually just to feel like a normal interpretation of yourself. And what do I think about all this? Well, people like you aren't very hard to find. You'll find them everywhere. There's a sociopath lurking around every corner, and whilst one could condemn the sociopath, and one could also think about the sociopath as just being another really, really flawed person. Now, the good thing is that you're not a psychopath, or a person that's genetically or physiologically trained within the brain to behave this way. It's not that you're low on gray matter and high on white matter. You're capable of thinking critically and not just building and layering upon multiple narratives of the truth, since that's what liars usually do. And that way you might not be a sociopath, you might just be a douchebag, and a justifiable douchebag in many ways who's just going through a more selfish phase at the moment, a more vampire-like phase, thirsting for blood. Because you are thinking about that ramifications of your actions, you're thinking critically about this, that's why you're noticing that you're more and more interested in yourself, and... It's not that you're just building upon multiple contradictory narratives. You see where the patterns are, and you're moving towards that direction. Now, this is probably going to be one of the shortest videos I've made this year. What do I think? I just think that you're just being you. I'm not going to add an adjective to that, because... You're young, you're 15, you're just trying to find yourself, and honestly, I was more of a prick when I was 15 than now, contrary to what many people think, and that's what you gotta do, you gotta do you, and you gotta find out who you really are. That's a cheesy high school way of explaining that, but you're not gonna be able to do that by 
taking classes on high school, getting laid, and pursuing a worthless dream, you're going to have to nearly destroy yourself, put yourself at higher risk, and find something more important than yourself in order to discover. Because if you can't do that, then you really are a sociopath, and you probably wouldn't be able to notice because you wouldn't think about it too deeply. But that's all I got to say. Peace out.